Hi, I'm Ted Selsey. I'm Mayor of Niagara Falls, Ontario, and I'm pleased to mention today how happy we are to have the CRTC consider that Niagara should have its own new TV station. I can't say how important it is for our residents to experience the fact that we have local programming directed right to our local audience covering local events. Also, we will have the ability to have our businesses uh, extend that reach of their services and goods that they're offering to the Toronto market, which is very important to us in tourism. We feel it's really important getting that message across the lake to those people who are uh, coming to Niagara to also enjoy the experiences here and uh, how vital it is to our local economy. Hi, I'm Dolores Fabiano and I'm the Executive Director of the Welland Pelham Chamber of Commerce and the current Chair of the Regional Chambers of Commerce representing over 3,000 businesses here in Niagara. On behalf of those organizations, I'd like to support TVN Niagara's application to the CRTC. Here in Niagara, we're made up of 12 distinct municipalities. We're all different, we all have a voice, we all have a story to tell. TVN can help us get that story out. Wayne Redekop, Mayor of the Town of Fort Erie. Fort Erie is very supportive of TVN. We think it provides a great opportunity for the stories of Niagara to be told, uh, not only among our own communities, but also across Ontario and across Canada and into the United States. You know, Niagara is made up of many diverse communities, all of which have stories to tell, and this will be an opportunity for those of us in Fort Erie to find out more about what's happening in Grimsby or West Lincoln, and for people in the northern part of the peninsula to find out what's happening down in Fort Erie and Port Colborne and so on. We saw America on television, and a few years later, this is 1952, we saw Toronto television, and then we saw Hamilton television. We never saw Niagara television. Remember, this goes back to 1948, 55 years ago. Well, here I am living in Niagara again, retired, and I'm still not seeing any Niagara television. That's not fair, and it's not right. Uh, Toronto television doesn't talk to us about Niagara. Hamilton television doesn't talk to us about Niagara. Buffalo television does not talk to us about Niagara. Well, that's not fair either. Actually, one of the Buffalo stations does more coverage of local fires and disasters than the Toronto stations do, but really that's not satisfactory. I'm Susan O'Dell, president of East Dell Estates here in Beamsville in Niagara. Since moving to the region, we've been struck by how unique our area of Ontario is, and indeed in Canada as well. We need a television station, TVN, in Niagara. You know, Niagara is a very diverse region of over 400,000 people, and we certainly need to have the ability to communicate with one another. We also need that opportunity to tell the story about Niagara to those that live outside of the area, whether it is to do with tourism, whether it's to do with wineries, whether it's to do with job opportunities. Niagara has a great story, and it's now time to tell it. The Niagara region has 400,000 citizens scattered over 12 municipalities, and we don't have a TV station. Toronto does, Hamilton does, uh, Barrie does, but we don't. And if we're looking to find out information about our community, we can't find it through the te television channels. It's extremely important for us to be able to work together, develop the economy of the future, and really represent our interests effectively, both within Canada, but as well binationally. We totally support the concept of a new television station in Niagara and frankly it will be one of the ways that we will better develop as a community into the future and from an economic standpoint quite frankly it'll add tremendous value to our name and our brand and our community. Bonjour, je m'appelle Lucie Huot, je suis directrice générale du Club 2000 Niagara à Wallen et en ce on fait la promotion du français dans la péninsule du Niagara. Euh, je pense que euh, l'appui que nous autres on pourrait offrir à TVN, c'est en forme de personnel pour offrir euh, des idées pour la programmation. 
il y a un grand besoin dans la communauté francophone, surtout à Wallen, pour la promotion de nos projets et euh, du tourisme. TVN pourrait nous fournir euh, du temps sur leurs zones pour être capable de faire des entrevues avec des personnes clés dans la communauté et d'être capable de promouvoir nos projets tels que nos projets d'agrotourisme pour le développement économique euh, des, euh, du milieu rural, ainsi que la promotion euh, du tourisme à Niagara et euh, autour de la région telles que les petits villages ou les villes un petit peu moins importantes, euh, euh, le tourisme à Port Coburn ou à Sainte-Catherine, ainsi de suite. Euh, il y a un grand besoin et puis je crois que TVN pourrait nous aider Uh, dans la promotion de tout ce qui est francophone dans la région. Good morning. My name is Gary Burroughs and I'm Lord Mayor in Niagara and the Lake. And I'd like to welcome you all here this morning. We are very pleased to be supportive of the new application for TVN to come to the Niagara region. And it is a very important thing both for our tourism and for our residents to be more informed and more aware of the wonderful things that our entire Niagara region has to offer. One of the very important things about the Niagara region is its uniqueness as a viticultural area defined by the Niagara Escarpment, Lake Ontario and the Niagara River. And it's very, very fundamental that we maintain and preserve this area for use as viticulture and grape growing. We need to communicate that message and we couldn't find a better vehicle to do that than TV Niagara to get the message out, build the community spirit, and also encompass all of the other areas of Niagara. Our wine industry is developing at a tremendous rate. We employ thousands of people in this community, and we bring hundreds of thousands of people into the area, as well as our partners, uh, the grape growers of Ontario, uh, grow and produce millions of dollars worth of product, and we need to get our story told. Hi, I'm Al Slattery. I've been a car dealer in Welland and Niagara Peninsula for 25 years. Do I see the purpose of a TV station coming to here? TVM would be a great asset to us. I've tried Toronto, I've tried the Hamilton markets, I've used them, they're not cost effective for me and they hit markets that unfortunately I can't get to. So I certainly see the need for it. I also need to see the need as an individual, but I can at least get my local weather, which I can't get now. So I'm looking forward to TVN coming here and being one of their first clients. I'm Tim Rigby. I'm the mayor of the city of St. Catharines. For some time now we've been waiting to get uh, the opportunity to get our message out to the rest of Ontario. TVN is going to do that for us. Too often we've had television com community come into our city to tell bad news stories. Very seldom have they come in talking about good news. TVN is going to add an extra dimension to our economic progress and the diversity of our community. With the number of challenges and the talents that we have in our territory, um, it's important that uh, every week people see our, our successes, our struggles, our, our achievements. Uh, it speaks to the diversity that exists here at Six Nations, which is a community of about uh, 11,000 people living on the territory, but our total membership is the largest in Canada of 22,000. But at the end of the day, it's about Niagara, the special place it is, the special place it is in Canada, in Ontario, indeed in the world. We bring people here from all over the world every year, and it's, it's a place that deserves something of its own. TVN would bring that to this region. We would have our own voice. We need that voice. We need a voice that can tell the Niagara story, that can tell the Niagara story to Niagara people, and quite frankly, to beyond Niagara. This is important for us. Given where Niagara is in its own history, we, we deserve TVN, we need TVN. Quite frankly, the only thing that I can say is, give us TVN. I'm Dan Patterson, President of Niagara College, and I would like to say that I think the Niagara region is one of the best kept secrets in Canada, but I think we need to change that. I think we need to have enhanced TV coverage here in Niagara, and so I support TVN. With respect to Niagara College, we have one of the best broadcasting programs in Canada in the college system. This will provide a tremendous opportunity for employment opportunities for our students, work experience and additional programming opportunities that we can plug into TV Niagara. Currently we do enjoy some wonderful support from other media throughout the region 
Uh, the Niagara Symphony is supported by the, the, the print media, the daily newspapers, uh, some magazines and radio stations, but there are really important things in this TVN application that just cannot be done by any other media. It will help us to get our message out to the, all the municipalities in the Niagara region, but it will also help us to reach those really important markets in the Golden Horseshoe of Toronto and across the border in Buffalo. I'm Len Panacetti, president of Cave Spring Cellars here in Jordan and also the chairman of the Vintners Quality Alliance Ontario. And I'm very excited about the opportunity that TV Niagara presents for the Niagara Peninsula. And uh, certainly for our industry, we've always marketed ourselves uh, in a unitary fashion. We promote Niagara all the time, all wineries combined together, grape growers and so on. And uh, of course, television is the most important medium there is, uh, more important than print, more important than anything else. And we don't have one, and we're looking forward to getting one as soon as possible. So uh, the, this enterprise has my wholehearted support. I think it's very important that the CRTC realizes that, uh, that there's so many TV stations that come in our area that are telling us what's going on in the, uh, the Toronto area, but we really have to get our voice, uh, the voice of Niagara, out to the Golden Horseshoe area. And uh, TV Niagara can do that for us. It's, that's a very important part of this, uh, of this station. TVN's main purpose is to sell the Niagara experience. Too few Canadians are aware of the incredible change that has taken place in Niagara Falls, not only there, but through the entire region. We have hundreds of channels that talk to us, but this is our chance to showcase Niagara Falls as one of Canada's top tourist destinations. Hi, I'm Bob Spence, President and CEO of CA Niagara. I represent about 107,000 members in the Niagara region. There are 11 clubs across Canada, we are one of them, and yet we're the only club in Canada who does not have a local TV station to talk to our members through. We really look forward to having our own TV station here where we can communicate with our members. You know, you know what the city really, really needs? What this region needs? It needs a television station. And that has been my dilemma ever since I've been in Niagara. I've actually been here in business, small business, since 1989. And the problem we have as retailers, small retailers, is we have nowhere to pinpoint our advertising. TV Niagara will give Niagara a sense of community. It will allow us to interact with each other better, understand the issues that affect Niagara, understand where we need to go as a community, and how to get there. The opportunity that TVN provides to us in showcasing ourselves to our prospective visitors through the attractions and the wineries and the theatre that we have in the area is phenomenal. Rather than using our competitive um, stations across the river or in far, further afield in, in Toronto, this will give us a true voice that we've been waiting for and uh, I guess anticipating to have in this region. So congratulations to everyone who's put all this work uh, into, into place and to bring TV Niagara to us. I'm Peter Partington, Chairman of the Regional Municipality of Niagara. The Region of Niagara supports the application of TVN to CRTC for a television station in Niagara. Niagara is a special place with great attributes, wine industry, vibrant tourist industry centered in Niagara Falls. We're well known in the, in the area and to the south. We need to reach out to the north. The approval of a, of a state TV station in Niagara will get the message to the rest of Ontario that the Niagara region is a special place. My name is Victor Ferriola, Vice President for Niagara Falls Tourism, and we're really encouraged about the idea of having TVN set up a television station here in the Niagara region with so much diversity to offer individuals, not only the locals, but the 14 million annual visitors. It's a real opportunity for us to tell our story. I see TV as the biggest tool in the region to get tourism here. Everybody can dial in all around the world, look at the beautiful scenery and have a live picture available all the time. I hear there'll be weather information, boating information, uh, pressure recreational information. And what more do we want in this world right now, in, in, a, in a digital world, in an in a internet world, in a TV world, than have it always at our fingertips? So I'm in full support of this um, TV station and uh, I love to have you here and, and, and be in support uh, uh, for these people. Uh, I, I can't say more than uh, good luck. Uh, a picture says a thousand words, a TV picture says 10,000 words. 
As a local business owner in Niagara, we would love the opportunity to be able to advertise our products locally on a local television station. We don't want to deal with CHTV. We don't want to broadcast our products throughout Ontario. We want to deal with a local television station like TVN Niagara. Hello, uh, very happy to hear about TVN and their uh, interest in opening up a station here in Niagara. Well in particular has been facing many difficulties, economic hardships, and we're going through a process right now of public input and redefining who we are. So this is a great opportunity for us to sell uh, this new vision for Welland and Niagara to our citizens. But also, uh, here in Welland in particular, but it's across Niagara, we're dominated by points of view from Western New York, Buffalo in particular, Hamilton and Toronto. So this is a chance for us as Niagarans to share who we are with the rest of Southern Ontario. This really can become a wonderful way of communicating with our public and the rest of Southern Ontario. The Canadian Parliament passed the Broadcast Act which created you, the CRTC, and your job was, as you perfectly well know, to help as much as you could, Canadians get to see themselves on television. Well, it's not your fault that we haven't seen it yet because nobody applied before. But someone has applied now to Television Niagara. And surely you will not pass up this chance to let it finally happen, what, what is supposed to happen because of your efforts. Surely not the CRTC. So I'm pleased to have the opportunity to say, yes, TVN should be in Niagara. We hope that uh, the CRTC is favorable in response and uh, we can't see this happen soon enough. Thank you.